So let's take a look at how the ADC works and um, get our information from the data sheet. All right. The first one we're going to look up is PSSI. Okay, so go to the data sheet. I'm going to use my bookmark. And the ADC is chapter 13. And I want to find the registers. And I'm going to look for PSSI. PSSI. Come on. There it is. This is the processor sample sequence initiate register. Okay. So in here, it'll show us how it works. We're going to write to bit 3, which will start sequencer 3. All right. Hence the word eight, value 8 here. All right. Let's look up the raw interrupt status register, which has our flags in it. So again, I'm going to use the bookmarks. Again, I'm going to use the bookmarks to search for the register. And the register I want is RIS, raw interrupt status. There it is. So here, it will show us that each of the sequencers has a raw interrupt status. And bit 3 is associated with sequencer 3. So we just check for that bit to see if the sample is con completed. There we go. What else do we need? Um, let's look at the result, where to read the result from. Okay, so again, we're searching each register. So we go back. So we go back to our bookmarks, and we're looking for the FIFO sequencer 3 register. And there are a lot of registers of the ADD converter, so we need a way to find it. There it is. Click on it, and we can see this register is not very interesting, but we can see that it is a 12-bit register which will contain the conversion result. One more register. That's called the ISC register. This is our acknowledge register. This is the one we have to make sure we do to indicate that we've read the converted value. There we go. Let's find it. Right there. Right there. There it is. Uh, the ISC register. Click. And this is one of those interesting registers here. And you can see that it is a read-write register. But when we write a 1 to it, it will clear the bit. So this is one of those interesting bits. Let's go down and look at it in the description. Right here. That if we write a 1 to this bit, it will clear the corresponding bit into the raw interrupt status. There we go. Again, don't be afraid of the data sheet. It's your friend.